some of you have been asking what this thing is. This is the drunken clergyman and it's the oldest sculpture I own that I made. Uh, I made it in 1967 and it's called the drunken clergyman because it rocks around and it's full of or half full of something. It's either full of Guinness or brandy in there but I've never revealed which. My children and grandchildren love sitting on it, have loved sitting on it over the centuries, dating back to 1967, and I've taken it everywhere with me when I left Wolverhampton College of Art. I had it in my final degree show. Um, I was put in for a first class honours in my final degree sculpture show, but uh, the external examiner, who is a modernist artist from London, well known one, took me down to an upper second because he said he didn't like silly titles on things. He says, why can't it just be called something like black and white form? And uh, I said, well, the thing is, I got the idea from stopping at a, 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 a Bernie Inn at once. There were Bernie Inns were new then. And I had something called an Irish coffee, which I'd never had before. And it inspired this shape. The problem was, I had too many Irish coffees and I was so drunk when I came out of the Burnie Inn uh, I had to go across the road into a, um, a churchyard to sleep it off. And believe it or not, I, I was woken an hour or so later by a rather fat clergyman, the vicar, saying, oh, you're all right, old chap. And so all I did was just join the two sides together, the two idea things together that happened, which gave me the inspiration for this piece of work. But uh, when I explained this to the external examiner, he wasn't very impressed. And uh, so that's what happened to that. And um, then, uh, after I graduated, I was called down for interview at Goldsmiths on a teacher, postgraduate teacher training course, which I got into, uh, and, uh, and then uh, to Chelsea School of Art to do the MA. And I was interviewed there, and they more or less said the same thing, and I was rejected at Chelsea School of Art. So now I was in London at Goldsmiths um, um, and said to them at the time, that, uh, um, you know, Wolverhampton, we still make things that are uh, humorous. And in fact, they still do. I mean, I became the, the head of the art school 20 odd years later, and I'm pleased to say that I'm still making humorous sculptures then. Anyway, the idea for this also came from the sort of music hall. I was very interested in it. And particularly for the drunken clergyman, I thought of another authority figure who was uh, made uh, um, fun of in a way. And he was, of course, the laughing policeman. I know a fat old policeman, he's always on our street. A flat old lorry man, there's man, he really is a treat. He's too fine for a policeman, he's never known to frown. And everybody says he is the happiest man in town. Goldsmiths, um, they asked to see my portfolio one day, and uh, I said, well, you've already seen it, so we want to see it, and so I brought it in, and about uh, a week later, my tutor, Tony Collins, said, 
um, why don't you apply to the Slade of the Royal College of Art? I said, I'll never get into those establishments. He said, oh, I think you should try. And uh, I was advised by a friend, he says, Royal College is for whiz kids and the Slade is for nutters, so uh, I think the Slade is for you. So I applied and I was interviewed and, believe it or not, I was offered a place at that august institution, thanks, I'm sure, to a phone call from my tutor at Goldsmiths. So, although I didn't get into Chelsea, I got into the Slade. Ah! <laughs> Tony Collins, well, he was very old. He came to an exhibition I had in the West End about six, seven years ago, a sort of um, a mini retrospective at the Piper Gallery in Newman Street. I hadn't seen him for years and he came to the opening and he saw this on a pedestal and he said, there's the drunken clergyman. Or is it the vicar? I said, yes, yeah, it's, it's a drunken clergyman. And he said, you know, Vaughan, uh, we gave you the, your place at Goldsmiths on that. I said, oh yes, my interview. He said, yes. I said, I talked about philosophy and Wittgenstein and things, did I? He said, did you? I said, yes. He said, maybe, but we just gave you a place on that. <laughs>